Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fold a Tato, which is a traditional Japanese envelope or a flat pouch. This is a traditional model. I'll be using a 6 inch sheet of Kami that will make one this size. If you want to fold it with a bigger sheet, this one was folded from a 9 inch square. But for this video, I'm going to use a 6 inch square and we're going to start with the colored side up. Then we're going to fold in half along the horizontal. So I'm going to bring this top edge down to lie along the bottom edge. Just make sure that lines up corner to corner. Hold it in place and then crease. Next we're going to make a valley fold that connects this corner in the top left with this corner in the bottom right. And so the way we're going to do that is we'll start the fold, just fold it up about like this, and then we're going to make a small pinch down at the corner here, just to make sure it extends all the way out to that corner. Then we'll start up at the other corner, make a small pinch there. Then we'll hold both of those pinch marks in place. And then what I'm doing here is I'm using these fingers to pull the paper upwards like this while I'm holding the two pinch marks. So you just roll it up as far as it will go and then you can crease all the way across. That technique might take a couple of tries. Some people will use a ruler and a scoring tool to make folds like this. But once you get the technique down it's a lot faster to do it that way. Next we're going to turn the paper over and we'll do the same thing on this side, connecting this corner with this corner. Fold it up, make our pinch marks here. Then I hold those while I pull the paper up and then crease it. Then we'll unfold all of that. Then make it a square again. And then we'll rotate the model. Then we're going to do the same steps right here. So we'll bring this top edge down to lie along the bottom edge again. Making the valley fold perpendicular to the one we made in the first step. Then we need to make that valley fold connecting these two corners again. Then turn the model over and make one more fold like that connecting the corners. And then unfold everything back to a square and then lay the paper flat with the colored side down. Next, reform one of these valley folds here that are at an angle like this. Next we're going to take this point and we're going to bring it down to where this crease meets the edge right here. So we'll just pick that point up and bring it down to lie along that edge right where that crease is. Then we'll form this fold right here. 
can see that corner made it all the way down perfectly on that crease. Next, we're going to form this valley fold right here. And don't flatten everything completely yet, because we're going to take this crease here and bring it down to lie along this edge here. And we have this crease that's running across, that's an existing crease. You can fold that one down and then if you just press everything down once that's folded it should form those folds where they need to be. Then we're going to unfold all of that, rotate the model 90 degrees, and repeat all of those steps here. So we'll form this valley fold and bring this corner out to this edge here where that crease line is. And then crease that. Form this valley fold. And then reform that fold and bring that crease out to the edge. Then we'll unfold all of that, rotate 90 degrees, and repeat all of those steps here. And then unfold again, rotate 90 degrees, then repeat all the steps one last time. Then you can leave that folded and rotate. And then we're going to use all those creases that we have in place already. Bring this valley fold over, fold again, and press everything down like this. I'm gonna unfold and show that one more time. So we started here. We bring that point out to the side. Back in and then press everything down. Then rotate. Form all those same creases on this side. Bring that out. Back in, fold it all down, and rotate. And the same thing here, but it will be just a little different. So we have to free some of these layers underneath. So we bring this out to the side, and then free this flap out from underneath. And then push this in. Then it should look like this. And we're all done. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for future tutorials. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.